Let's now have a look at how we can draw diagrams of the kind of structure we've been looking at. You'll remember that complex lexemes are either compounds or derived forms. How do we draw the structure? Well, complex lexemes have structure and so the structure can be represented in pretty much the ways we've already seen, either by tree diagrams or by a new kind of notation labelled bracketed notation which is actually just a box diagram but which is used quite commonly and it has various uh, quite important usages. Let's have a look at a simple tree diagram. We've already seen the box diagram of this word. Blackboard you'll remember is inside a big box which is a noun and inside that big box there are two little boxes the black box and the board box and each of them has a label a grammatical category. Blackboard is a noun, black is an adjective, board is a noun. So the horizontal direction represents the linear structure of the word, namely adjective followed by noun, and the vertical dimension says hierarchically the whole thing is a noun. What's this? This is really just a box diagram with only the ends of the boxes showing. The big box says the whole thing is a noun and then the little boxes say black is an adjective, board is a noun and they come in that order. Why bother not putting in all of the rest of the box? Well if you think of a typewriter keyboard or a computer keyboard uh, they don't have boxes whereas they do have brackets and so it's easy to represent the structure of something by using just a single line but instead of putting boxes in, using the brackets. So we can say left hand bracket noun, left hand bracket adjective, black, right hand bracket, left hand bracket noun, board, right hand bracket, right hand bracket. And of course we've managed it in one line, we've saved an awful lot of trees in the process. And it has another use. We can, if we want to, just represent parts of the structure of something bigger by only putting the brackets round the bit that we want to highlight the structure of and we can leave everything out whereas with a tree diagram or a box diagram of the traditional sort that's not really possible. What happens with derived forms? Let's suppose that preschool is an adjective, all of it, and that school is a noun well, pre doesn't have its own grammatical category, so only school has a category, and that's what a derived form would look like. What about a complex form? Well, here we've got nationalization. The whole thing is a noun. You can check that by putting a plural on the end. It's a noun. Inside that noun, there's a verb. The verb is nationalize. Put a past tense on the end of that. Yes, that works. It's a verb. Inside that verb, there's an adjective, national. Inside that adjective, there's a noun. And you'll see that this is quite neat because it's binary and it represents the kind of nested structure that complex words have. How far can we go with this? Well, there are some pretty long words and anti-disestablishmentarianism isn't the longest of them. All of them are binary and they all work this kind of way and we could also, if we wanted to, draw them and uh, do that in a labelled bracketed notation.